Hello everyone, this is Chris. Uh, in this one, I would like to share with you guys how I do the UV mapping in Maya 2019. Uh, and if you want to see more ZBrush modeling techniques, just feel free to check out my channel. Uh, first of all, before you start UV, you can see all these sharp edges here. Uh, well, because it's low poly, but you don't want to export your object like this uh, to your texture software because um, once you bake your high poly details on top of it, um, these are just going to make it very ugly. Um, so yeah, so basically you, you want to soften the edge, smooth them out, um, and it's quite simple. And then let me just quickly show you how to do it. So select your object and shift and right click. So, um, so if you click that, see the edge on the outside has been smoothed out. But the inside, as you can see here, they are still pretty sharp. Go to your uh, channel box and play with this angle. So let's say 30 is maybe too low for this. And maybe let's try um, 60. And now, as you can see, they have been all smoothed. Let's go to UV and click Planet, Y-axis. But I'm using this just for the start. Uh, and then let's go to UV again, 3D cut and sew. And all you have to do is go to component, sorry, right click, right, go to component, and go to edges. Simply just double click, it's gonna make a new shell for you. And then uh, right click and then select faces. And now all you have to do is just select all these faces, select the one in the middle as well. So just uh, simply click X and it's gonna cut these uh, edges and you can obviously you can do the same here so go to component and edge double click and it's done and then you can just to unfold these shells just double click these lines these edges And I'm just going to cut these lines here too. Make this smaller. Um, separate these shells. And the shell here. Um, so go to UV, just select them all. And go to unfold. So here's something you can play with. Um, so actually let's start with this one so if you select all the UVs and just click unfold it's just gonna unfold for you but you have to adjust um, the angle and make everything straight while these uh, UVs are selected you can uh, straighten the you can straighten the UVs as well and you have to play with the degree here so let's, let's try 30 and straight. And then for these ones, uh, I'm gonna, let's say, I, I'm just gonna do it one by one. So select UV, just unfold. And you can just do the same. Let's just bring them um, here for now. UV shell, we move this up a bit, and UV, uh, and go to UV shell, do the same, just unfold. Unfold. Because we, we were using this 3D cut and sew UV tool, and all the shell has been assigned to a different colors. To make sure all the UV shells are displayed properly, uh, they're all supposed to have that blue color because if it's a red color or pink color, it means it's uh, uh, overlaid or they, they fold it uh, upside down. To, to see if they are correct, you can just go to view and shade it. Just go to front and back facing, apply. So now everything is blue and you know they're all correct. Uh, before we bring everything 
back into this box, uh, one thing we have to do is make sure the, the textile density is correct. The Maya UV made this a lot easier for us. Uh, you just need to um, select the UV and go to transform. Just click get. This is the, the textile density number for this particular shell. And all you have to do now is just go to uh, select inverse selection, or you can just go uh, control shift I to select everything else and click set. So now they are having the equal density now. Select everything. You can go to arrange. So you can try this buttons and to see how Maya is going to lay out these shells for you automatically. But I personally like to arrange these myself. So when you see these asset in the game scene, the inside is actually hard to be displayed. Um, I mean, it is always nice to match the, um, the textile density, but um, to be honest, uh, sometimes you can just to save up the space, you can actually uh, scale this down a little bit because they are not that important. So this main part has been, has been done and let's do the small part. So first of all, let's just uh, um, click planar projection and then um, I'm going to go to 3D cut and sew, go to component, select face, and click X. There we go. Easy. And we're going to do exactly the same thing here. So go to face, and click X. And to save some time, you can actually turn on the symmetry. Uh, let's say we can turn on X. I think that is everything. And click X. Uh, so basically, once you um, cut the one on top and the one on the side, uh, these triangles are automatically being cut into different shells too. So all we have to do now is arrange these, um, these shells. So here I'm just going to speed up the process. Uh, as you can see, um, for a more complicated shape, just one single unfold click doesn't really, um, doesn't do all the job. Uh, so I need to select the UV and use unfold tool or just rotate to relax the shape before I can uh, straighten and gratify the shell. Also pay attention on your 3D model and make sure the checker texture is not warped or anything on your model. For the rest of the part, they are mm, quite straightforward. I just use the same technique as how I did the cylinder. Um, and for the triangle part, because each two are the same, so I can use the stack similar uh, and to save up some space. After I unfold everything, I just turn on facing front and back to make sure everything is showing properly. Just set up the texture density to make sure um, the, the texture resolution is consistent. And then I just bring everything together and fit all the shells into the box. So this is how you can UV a cylinder with some basic but very useful tools in Maya. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like it, please subscribe my channel. That will be very helpful. And I will see you in the next one.